Hello everyone, Griffin here, and today we are in War of the Gods. So let me show you some battles. I think I lost some battles. La like um, that I couldn't record them because I'm not in the history logs anymore. Because apparently it just saves from one day. So this is the first one I want to show you. So in this one I started, first match I started, I almost always I start with Halver Master, you can do many things with him. My opponent went with, for whatever reason, I understand Turtle Fighter, I do not understand Arcane Sapper against a Halber Master. Then I went with Physical on Treasure Hunter and Scabberless Blade, my Treasure Hunter is not fully trained yet. Then my opponent went with Treasure Hunt, uh, Scabberless Blade and Shadow Reaper, Shadow Reaper is always a threat. Then I went with Commando and Turtle Fighter since my opponent had some directional heroes, so why not? Well, mainly Scabberless Blade and one skill of Shadow Reaper, if I remember correctly, is the one that puts the Mars. I think it's directional, I'm not completely sure. But anyway, I did that. So that's why I put Turtle Fighter. Then my opponent went and put uh, Shadow Leaf with the skin, which is very, very strong. And then Dead Mage, and I put Dead Mage too because I needed to use it. Because of the event that's going on right now. So this is how it went. Funnily enough, my opponent's Turtle Fighter rolls before mine. Even when my opponent's Astral Fighter was stunned at first by Commando. Then my poor Commando died. And my opponent's Dead Mage started attacking. And that's never a good thing. But then my Dead Mage started and. Well. But my dead match died. <laughs> and then only my opponent's dead match is alive. So what you can see here is in theory my opponent's team was stronger, but Arcane Supper does not work well in this case because there's too many things that can, that can hit him without there being magical heroes that he can destroy very easily other than dead mage and also by having in front of me three strong damage dealers as the scabberless blade shadow reaper and shadow leaf skin that allowed my Scabberless Blade to ultimate before my opponents, which makes it did more, which allowed him to do more damage. Uh, my Halber Master in this case, what he was doing was trying to mess the battlefield along with Turtle Fighter, especially because in many situations, uh, Scabberless Blade will go fierce against Turtle Fighter, not always but in many situations, mainly because usually Turtle Fighter after he rolls, after a few seconds he will be the hero with uh, the most damage, so Scabber's Blade will target him, and by having Haber Master there, that means I will have uh, more time of my opponent's heroes being uh, not controlled but at least distracted or torn. So that gave more time for my Scabberless Blade to do his thing and my other heroes to at least try to do something. So that's the reason why I won in this case. And the second match, my opponent started with Scabberless Blade, sorry, with Halber Master. 
So I saw a frontliner, so I knew it would not be a mastermind team, or at least it would be way too weird if it was a mastermind team. So I went with mastermind myself. I went with sorceress and thunder beast. And as always, I can always change the team starting with those two to a magical burst team. Then my opponent went with Sorceress 2 and Hercule. Then I went with Manipulator and Magic Breaker. Magic Breaker will be great not to only uh, fend off any control of my team, but also to silence Sorceress. Then my opponent went with Damage, which is com uh, comprehensible actually. The Invenger's Spirit and Sky Guardian, especially because while Sky Guardian is making her ultimate, she cannot be harmed while dealing a lot of damage. And then I went with Master Mage and Witch, and my opponent went with Magic Breaker, and I question severely that uh, substitute choice. But anyway, let's go. My opponent's team was not bad. The heroes are not bad heroes, especially for the situation. I know Sky Guardian is not exactly in the metagame, but against a Master Mage team, she is actually very useful. The problem in this case, at least in my opinion, was that my opponent's heroes didn't have synergy between them. So they didn't work together well enough. which is, um, as you can see, none of my opponent's heroes allowed any kind of opening for another one of them to do something. But okay, that's a victory. Now, this one I lost on purpose, this one I won, but it's not interesting. This one I won because my opponent beat me to forfeit <laughs> I was going to forfeit but my opponent forfeit first this one uh, I'm just realizing this I should have been distracted actually because I actually fought here well I guess that's why I'm 18 level 18 and not 16 anymore but okay let's see Fierce fight. Okay, first fight I started. I started with Hover Master once again. My opponent went with Dead Mage and Turtle Fighter. Turtle Fighter just because I started with a physical and I assumed Dead Mage just because of the event. Then I went with more physical, Treasure Hunter and Scabrous Blade. My opponent went with a tank and a good damage dealer and control actually on Void Master. Then I went with Turtle Fighter and Commando Commando because she can give an initial uh, health to burst or at least to try and burst. And Turtle Fighter because I needed something to turn my opponent's heroes, especially Void Master. And then my opponent went with Wind Priest with which also needs to be turned around and substitute on Frost Dragon. I I questioned that decision, but anyway. And I went with Dead Mace as substitute because she's a decent substitute. She's not the best, but she's a decent substitute in, in these kind of situations. Uh, but also because I needed to, to use her because of the event. And this is how the fight went. So, so far, nothing, nothing weird happening, my turtle fighter taking the attention of at least three of my opponent's heroes. There my treasure hunter ultimate and you can see that's what I lost. 
The Moment Void Master Ultimate Facing my team That's what I lost Because then Wind Priest was able to ultimate So in this case I had really bad luck on timing So I just needed uh, either for Void Master to ultimate a couple of seconds before that and therefore his ultimate be on the other side but that control and add to that Wind Priest ultimate it was over so yeah I lost that one and badly now the second one my opponent started with Sorceress so I immediately thought okay that's Master Mage so I went with the start of Anti-Master Mage, which is Void Master and Holy Priestess. Then my opponent turned that around. And actually selecting Arcane Supper against Void Master is a good idea because he has a very high intellect. And in many cases he will be the hero uh, that Arcane Supper will jump to. And he can kill Void Master very, very quickly. And still champion, I don't know why. Maybe that was his tank of choice for whatever reason. Then I realized, okay, it's not a Master Mage, so I will go with something to protect from physical on Cleric and something that does damage and control on Night and Fox. My opponent went with Night and Fox and some healing, which, alright, so far it's fine. The only thing that I don't see synergy in my opponent's team is still champion actually, but. Even, even then, it's not exactly a bad choice if you want a tank. Although, in my opinion, he's more of an off tank. And then, I was thinking on if I should go with another tank or more damage. But seeing that my opponent had not only Holy Priestess there, but... Arcane Sapper that can recover his health by, just by doing damage and Ninetale Fox that can also recover her health so I went with damage, I went with Ember Star that I told you guys before, she's very strong and then with Shadow Reaper as substitute is never a bad choice, almost never and my opponent went with Scalar's Blade which is a very good choice as substitute actually and this is how it went so my idea with cleric here was to try and make my hero survive and that green skill of void master is actually helping a lot against arcane supper and so far things are going fine but then my opponents Ultimate, okay. My opponent's uh, Ninetale Fox Ultimate, which is never a good thing. And there I had a little luck with timing that the ultimate of Holy Priestess tar targeted the hero that was being attacked by Halber, uh, sorry, Scabberless Blade. So that hero survived and therefore Scabberless Blade is not messing up my team. And Ember Star doing her ultimate, it's always a good thing. It's always a good thing because she can nuke heroes very effectively. And as you can see I didn't even need my substitute, which in part it's a bad thing because it's pretty much wasting Shadow Reaper but anyway so the reason why I won here is mostly because I had Cleric and I had enough healing and also enough damage and that green skill from Void Master to Arcane Supper so all of that helped then I had to start, so my first thought was, okay, I'll go with Master Mage, I don't have a reason not to, to be honest. So 
so I started with manipulator, especially because I can still change things if I don't want to go with Master Mage. If I start with manipulator, she can fit a lot of things, especially because of her control abilities. My opponent went with physical, which is fine. Then I went with the burst. My opponent went with Shadow Reaper and Fly with Heroin, which is more damage. Which I realized that I don't know if my opponent knew that I was doing Master Mage or not, but that will only help to kill Master Mage faster. Then I went with Magic Breaker and Master Mage just to avoid any control. And once my opponent saw Master Mage, of course he chose, or she, I don't know, Evil Rabbit, and once again I question the choice of Substitute, I mean, the ultimate of Ice Mage with skin is amazing. Not only in damage, but in control, but otherwise I question what my opponent did with Ice Mage there. And then I went with Arcane Supper because um, it seemed like a good idea at the time. So I even went with Witch because both ultimates of Halberd Master and Sky Guardian render Witch's ultimate useless. And as I said, Master Mage dies quickly. And my opponent's rabbit doesn't work because I have Thunder Beast and my opponent's rabbit was the front. So actually choosing something else, even something like Dwarf Warrior even, so that he's the only one that is taking the initial boards or maybe canceling the 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 few starting seconds of the burst of Thunder Beast because when Dwarf Warrior charges, usually Thunder Beast will not start with his uh, green skill, I think, but will do a normal attack and then the green skill. So that little delay can be all the difference you need sometimes. But my opponent chose Rabbit while he being in front and. Thunder Beast cancelled, so I won that one. Um, let me see if there's another fight. Okay, I found another fight. Uh, it's against this guy, level 109. And I found this fight interesting, like... Let's see. How this fight went? I think my opponent started with Imperial Marshal and right now I can tell you I was obviously, obviously distracted because Imperial Marshal has been used against me sometimes in a Master Mage team and I will usually go with Holy Priestess and Void Master here, especially because on that team, I, in case it's not Master Mage, I also use Cleric, as you can see on the second team. And that's the best thing that you can do against Imperial Marshal, just to try to, sub, uh, to resist the amount of damage he deals. But I went with Physical, for whatever reason I was completely distracted here. Then my opponent went with Sorceress and Manipulator and that's when I realized. So I was thinking, okay, do I still have the time to try and do the... the counter? I thought that the full counter not, I don't think so. Because I will need the control from the screen of Cross Knight plus Void Master 2 plus Rabbit but 
uh, given that Imperial Marshal also has these swords that are directional. Well, the one sword that goes through your team. I will need skeleton mage there. So I realized, okay, it's not enough. But what can be enough? So Void Master is mainly to control and then to try and damage whatever hero rabbit gets. But I will have, if I put some other damage, and I have a Scabberless Blade. Um, even at a uh, certain point I have Halber Master, then I, maybe I can do some, some enough damage. So I decided that I will go with Treasure Hunter because when he dies, he goes to the other side and he can stun the heroes, especially because the, your opponent's team, when they have Master Mage, Master Mage is the front, and since she's a middle liner, she stops way before and your team stops. So all your opponent's team, unless they move or whatever, are in one side. So Treasure Guardian actually going the other side can be very, very helpful against a Master Mage team. So that's why I decided that and the damage that he can do to whatever hero every rabbit can grab. So I got that and I got a skeleton mage because I wanted to try and put some damage to the dragons. Then my opponent went with Void Master and then Sorceress. So I was very happy that I selected Skeleton Mage. So I went with Rabbit and Arcane Sapper. Arcane Sapper is never a bad choice a substitute against a Master Mage team. Then my opponent went with Avenger. I was not sure why Avenger, but this is how it went. It didn't go well for me. So I got Boy Master there, but just shy of the damage to kill him. Just shy of the damage to kill him. So he ultimate, he controlled my team, and that was it. That was it. As you can see, I got completely demolished. Like, Arcane Supper tried, but Imperial Marshal is dead in melee form. I didn't have a chance. At this, at that point, I was thinking maybe I should have gone with Void Master instead of Treasure Hunter. Just to, if I could just uh, cancel the ultimate of my opponent's Void Master with the green skill of my own Void Master, I might have had a chance, but. I, I'm still not sure, so that was my mistake. I I was thinking on the damage that Treasure Hunter normally can do, but my Treasure Hunter is only 4 stars, and also he's not fully trained yet. I, I, I think it, it, it has less than half, so that's a lot of damage that he's not doing. Now, second match. I started. So, since I, my opponent already used Master Mage, so I tried to go with what I consider sometimes my stronger team. So I started with Holy Priestess. My opponent went with Physical, so obviously I went with Cleric and Ember Star, which is one of my favorite damage dealers. My opponent went with Turtle Fighter and Divine Knight, which Divine Knight is actually a good choice here because I have healing on Holy Priestess and Cleric and also well so I went with Knight of Fox, Turtle Fighter then my opponent went with Divine Knight and Commando I don't know why Commando a substitute, I have no idea I mean her ultimate is very strong, I know, but 
I think there are there were better choices. Even an arcane sapper would have been decent here. Uh, then I went with my own Shadow Reaper, and the full idea here was turn some of my opponent's heroes, uh, control them over there, try to stop the fierce swords of Divine Knight so that my heroes are not uh, have not healing cancelling when the fierce big healing of Holy Priestess comes. So that's why Turtle Fighter came, and this is how it went. So, so far, it's normal. So I was able to stop the first source a little bit. And my Cler my cleric was able to ultimate fast enough. Here I am not even sure if the ultimate of Ember Star actually touched my opponent's Turtle Fighter or no. I think my opponent's Turtle Fighter started to roll. And my my cleric went to the other side. I have no idea how but here the healing of my heroes uh, is helping and my turtle fighter going back and taking the ultimate of treasure hunter saved my team completely like that completely saved my team otherwise i was i was dead so it, it was the fight was a bit of a mess and my ember yeah my ember start didn't touch turtle fighter uh, with the hell it had if the skin skill didn't activate that helps the damage maybe my ember star could have killed my opponent's turtle fighter right then and there and making the fight easier for me but the fact that she missed then control then attack then attack again then uh, pushed aside by Treasure Hunter, the, my, my poor Ember Star didn't have a chance here. But I still won. Um, so maybe something other than Ember Starter, maybe Witch. Um, mostly because she can. Uh, the same thing that Torture Fighter can do, that she can blind heroes. And given that my opponent's team was a physical one, that would have been a good idea. Now, next. My opponent started with Holy Priestess. For a second I thought that my opponent might do something similar to what I did, but... So I went with... Uh, manipulator and... What is it? Uh, Thunder Beast. Then my opponent surprised me completely. Like, my opponent caught Chun that I was doing a Master Mage, which is very good on his or her part, and chose Evil Rabbit and Lightning Elemental. For those of you who are not familiar with Lightning Elemental, he's good for one thing and one thing only his legendary skill. When he dies, he burns team of the opponent's team. He burns energy of the opponent's team, like over half the energy, over 500. I don't remember the exact number, but in something like a master machine, that can be the difference between victory and defeat. And obviously, every rabbit can be a good idea if you can actually do damage. Or control or whatever to whatever hero rabbit grabs so I went with sorceress and then I went with a tank I changed my strategy here because uh, on that position I would not be able to live if I kill lightning elemental 
and my, op and my heroes didn't ultimate. I will not have anything to actually help me survive and I didn't know what other two heroes my, my opponent will choose apart from the substitute. So I changed my tactic and I went with the tank. I, well, Hercules is always a strong tank, with, so it, it was a good choice, in my opinion. Then my opponent had to, ch to change tactics too, so he went with Cleric and <sighs> Mechanical Barbie. Now the only problem I saw here is that other than... Well, Mechanical Barbie can do damage, but it's technically more of a support and damage dealer. And Rabbit can be considered control, support, but also damage sometimes. So it was a weird mix, he didn't have a pure damage dealer here, so at the start I will have the advantage. Especially if I, if I was able to cancel Rabbit's first grab, but the problem here is that I know Lightning Elemental is a frontline hero, but I could not remember for the life of me if what was the order with respect to Rabbit. So then I went with Magic Breaker just to have some magical, uh, well, some control, uh, what do you call it? Control protection and magical protection. And which, in this case, she looked like a good substitute. And my opponent went with Shadow Reaper. And Shadow Reaper is always a threat. So this is how it went. So the moment that I saw that Lightning Elemental was in front of Rabbit, I knew that I would not be able to cancel Rabbit's first grab. But now, here's what I was talking about with how you should use Rabbit. My Sorceress was able to survive enough to at least do one ultimate and being sorceress you know that's at least 200,000 damage and you don't want that you want whatever hero rabbit grabs to not be able to do anything or to die very quickly so you either kill it or control it and my opponent could not kill it with the damage he had and also could not control it because of the hero that he or she was using Now, here my opponent Shadow Reaper taking a lot of damage from my Witch, and then Witch going again with her ultimate, which is always a good thing, I like it. And my Hercule resisting, which is, which is great. And then it's only Mechanical Barbie and my opponent's Holy Priestess, uh, like Holy Priestess with the buff of Mechanical Barbie and Mechanical Barbie herself with the buff. It's like weird, but then my tank died and I was like, uh oh, what is going to happen here? I did not know what was going to happen. I did not know if I would be able to, to win here. Actually, the fact that my opponent grabbed Sorceress was really bad for me. So, Mechanical Barbie died, mostly because she can attack behind and attack Witch with her ultimate. So, I was really unlucky that my Sorceress was the hero that my opponent grabbed, because look at the damage, 379,000 in the few seconds that she was in the, in the field. And looking at my opponent's initial team again, my opponent grabbed any of my other heroes. My sorceress would have had more than enough time to do way more damage than that. She would have the ball to control, to knock back. She would have the silence. That battle would have been way easier. So actually my opponent grabbing sorceress was the worst case scenario for me. And I still won. Alright, 
so I think we'll leave it at that for now. Oh, let me grab this. And I have a golden one, nice. So right now I at this. <laughs> but anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, uh, leave, please, please leave a like, subscribe, helps a lot. Uh, share your thoughts in the comments. And thanks a lot for watching. I will see you next time. Griffin out.